And in business news, as global financial outlook continues to look dimmer with a prolonged war in Ukraine, many African countries are bracing themselves to ride out the storm. This year's theme focuses on how to achieve climate resilience and a just energy transition for Africa. Take a listen. The African Development Bank annual meeting happening in Accra gave the opportunity for leaders to discuss the challenges that pandemic induced losses in revenue have had on infrastructure. Ramping up climate finance was also a hot topic. This year's theme focuses on how to achieve climate resilience. I believe the biggest challenge that Africa is facing is climate change. How the continent needs to adapt to all that is happening, but also how to enable Africa to open up to financial instruments in order to accelerate the development of the continent. We need roads, we need ports, we need railroads and just motorway in order to move goods from point A to point B. Today the infrastructure deficit has an impact on GDP and growth. We have challenges in terms of youth unemployment. Uh, we have challenges in having over 50% of the population today that are women that are not employed. And they are disproportionately affected by climate change because a lot of them are subsistence farmers. While acknowledging the negative impact disruptions to global supply chains had on many Africans, the South African Commissioner to Ghana highlighted the key role institutions like the AFDB can play. It's not to look at the challenges uh, towards Africa's development, but look at the opportunities, and that's why we're here, to leverage on the opportunities, especially institutions like multilateral institutions like the African Development Bank, in terms of just charting forward the development trajectory um, of the continent. On Monday, the AFDB approved a $1.5 billion emergency program to alleviate the impact of worsening food insecurity across the continent. So there is need for African countries producing the goods they are consuming. This is most important in the framework of the African continental free trade area that provides you know, a continental market of nearly 1.3 billion people with a combined uh, GDP of 3 trillion US dollars, which is an opportunity to accelerate structural transformation and industrialization. These week-long annual meetings have brought together several central bank governors, ministers and delegates to discuss the impact of climate change across Africa and ways in which governments can build resilience and achieve efficient energy transitions. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.